Hello, and welcome to the latest edition of The Nonprofit World here on Nutmeg TV. We're here to celebrate the people and the ideas that make life here and all around the world that much better for us. People guided by work of passion and interest and who live up to John Kennedy's famous saying, things don't happen, things are made to happen. And today we're going to meet some of those people making some wonderful things happen. I'd like to introduce our co-host. Our guest host today is Donna Hagigat. Thank you. Who is very well known in the area for so many things that she has done in the <laughs> nonprofit world, including with the uh, Hartford area uh, YWCA for the Hartford Public Library, and now on her own as a consultant to nonprofit groups and to small businesses. Welcome very, and it's great to see you here. Oh, thank you, Jerry, and thank you so much for the warm welcome. I'm excited to be here. Uh, as I was mentioning to our wonderful guests, um, I've just ventured out on my own as a consultant for nonprofits after spending nearly a decade in nonprofits, um, some of those that you mentioned, and also as the executive director of Aurora Women and Girls Foundation. And I'm ready to take some of the insights that I've gained from the many roles I've played there and help be a partner for nonprofits and also for small businesses. But I'm really excited tonight to uh, introduce our guests. We have Ted Carroll, who's the president of Leadership Greater Hartford. And we also have David Garvey, who is the Yukon di director of the Nonprofit Leadership Program. Thank and thank you, uh, both of you, for uh, making the time to be with us and, uh, and joining, joining our show tonight. Thank you for having uh, us. So thank I think you. Jerry Pleasure. and I were speaking uh, earlier about uh, what, what luck we have in having both of you come on the show at the same time. And I'd love for both of you to talk about how UConn and Leadership Greater Hartford have partnered. But before we do that, I wanted to have each of you introduce uh, to us what Leadership Greater Hartford does and also what the UConn Nonprofit Leadership Program does. So, Ted, can we start with you first? That would be my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, leadership Greater Hartford is a 40-year-old community leadership training organization. We are a nonprofit group ourselves, and we essentially strengthen and uh, support the Greater Hartford community by strengthening and connecting the leaders who reside here mm -hmm. and who work here. Uh, ensuring that this community has a large, growing, diverse, uh, and well-informed, well-trained cadre of leaders who are willing to step up and address the, our challenges and fulfill the promise that uh, we all have for this great uh, community of ours. Wonderful. Thank you. And David? Certainly. Uh, the Nonprofit Leadership Program uh, is a program of the Department of Public Policy. Uh, which has a uh, master's in public administration, a master's of public policy. And when you think public policy, you think government. But when you think about what government does that intersect with the nonprofit community, the mm -hmm. nonprofit sector is hugely substantial. And so it's one of the key reasons that we're in the Department of Public Policy. And uh, what we do within public policy, we have a graduate certificate program online. Uh, we also are very proud of every year, I also direct the internship program, mm -hmm. of getting our students into nonprofits, into state agencies and town governments, working with them, bringing their skill sets and helping them grow and get ready for their careers. And so that's an aspect of where there is that government nonprofit interchange. Mm -hmm. And then there's the other side of our house that is working with the professionals in the nonprofit field. And we have been building um, non credit programs that have been targeted to executive directors, to emerging leaders. And we have a very strong partnership, which I'm sure we'll be talking about, with Leadership Greater Hartford uh, and helping individuals from the corporate sector who are looking to come into the nonprofit sector transition in. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about that. Let's say we have somebody who's watching the show tonight and they have been thinking that their corporate job is just not no longer fulfilling sort of that 
part of them that really makes them excited to get up in the morning and go. And they're feeling more and more like nonprofit might be the solution. How does Leadership Greater Hartford and uh, the Encore aspect of UConn's nonprofit leadership program help an individual like that? Well, I would say, I'll give you a background that the term Encore mm -hmm. uh, was uh, basically uh, sort of brought to bear about 10 years ago by a group then called Civic Ventures, now called Encore.org, and Mark Friedman in some of his books, which looked at sort of America's future. When, when folks were looking, often you think about, well, baby boomers in 20 years, and uh, younger generations think, well, there's a burden there because of health costs and all of that of you know, the, the aging American population. But the other side of that coin mm -hmm. is looking at the talent, the education, and the passion of the people that are moving into their years beyond 50. And uh, many of them are not ready for the golf course. And ready, many of them um, are looking to have an impact. And so that's where Encore, uh, Encore Hartford started. And actually, and this is where partnerships, it was actually Leadership Greater Hartford who commissioned a study uh, back in the late 90s or? Probably 2004 is my guess. Yes, and about the whole concept of uh, although it might have not have been termed, but the whole concept of Encore mm -hmm. careers, mm -hmm. people going into different fields at a later stage in life. Mm -hmm. And between that study and uh, the work that's been going on with Encore, mm -hmm. uh, we decided to develop a program called Encore Hartford. And what was really beautiful about it, i got to say, is that it started purely in partnerships. We began this back in 2008, when our economy was not doing so well. And there were many people, especially older individuals, who were losing their positions. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of, Encore was that, you know, no one was looking to get laid off, sure. but how do you make the lemonade? And how do you look at it as something not so great as an opportunity? Mm -hmm. And, uh, we, at that time, we were meeting at Capital Workforce Partners. Uh, there was us, the United Way, Leadership Greater Hartford, uh, the community colleges, and we're all talking about this influx of individuals that are going into some tough times. Mm -hmm. Nonprofit isn't for everyone, but for those individuals that wanted to make that transition, how can we help? Mm -hmm. And so Encore Hartford is really uh, Two, two aspects. It's basically a four-month program. First two months is dealing with education. All of our courses are held in nonprofits because you want to immerse people in those nonprofits. The other element of the program is basically a two-month fellowship where we bring the person in into a nonprofit and actually it's like a job interview process. We have many nonprofits that will provide projects and we'll they, the nonprofits and the Encore Fellows, as we call them, will be choosing between the projects. And that's where, when we talk about strategic partnerships, when we started this out, this was just an idea, and I still remember having phone calls with, with Doe and Ted and mm -hmm. going, okay, does this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, the university uh, has a strong expertise mm -hmm. in education. Sure. Leadership Grade of Hartford has a strong expertise in experiential learning. Mm -hmm. And so that's when we said what makes sense is for LGH mm -hmm. to manage our fellowship end of the program. And so really if we look at uh, our other partners that have assisted us, the Department of Labor, United Way, it was all looking at everyone's individual skill sets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how that works. And so uh, Encore now is going into its Eighth year, we have uh, close to, uh, I haven't checked the numbers lately, but it's like an upper 85% of all of our Encore fellows are employed, and which is pretty darn good. And uh, to that extent, we've just launched 
Encore Fairfield County, which is happening mm. right now. Wonderful. And uh, it seems as though, I love your analogy about lemonade, because it sounds like Leadership Greater Hartford in your analogy is really like doing a little bit of the mixing and maybe the taste testing at the end. Mm. They're helping with the fellowships. And it makes so much sense because Ted and Leadership Greater Hartford and your amazing staff has all these wonderful built-in networks to leverage. So that makes a lot of sense. Now, what yeah. are your plans for uh, Fairfield County, who is gonna be your sort of natural partner? Is There's no Leadership Greater Fairfield yeah, County that I know of, is there? No, mm -hmm. and it's one of these things where you can't replicate something totally mm -hmm. in each, wherever sure. you go. It's a concept. And we have different partners in Fairfield County, mm -hmm. uh, the Fairfield Community Foundation and the Workplace. And AARP has been supporting both programs, the AARP Connecticut office. Mm -hmm. But yes, there is a different dynamic. Uh, we're working strongly with uh, RIASAP and Career Resources, along with the other United Way. So there's a different mix. Okay. And it is, I would say, you know, when we came in, we said, well, we don't want to just replicate. What do you like? But, but the Fairfield, our Fairfield partner said, we also don't want to break the recipe. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's one of those things where we're looking at different, slightly different topics here and there, sure. depending on the needs of that area mm -hmm. versus Hartford. Uh, but it's going fantastically. We will actually be tomorrow... Uh, actually, uh, yesterday we were at uh, the United Way of uh, Coastal Fairfield County putting on a, um, um, a class and we'll be at Newman's Own uh, tomorrow. Well, I hope you get some popcorn or salad dressing we're, or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm told lemonade's a definite. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that comes full circle then, doesn't it, with our lemonade <laughs> Whoa, analogy? we did good there. <laughs> we did. But I think the guiding principle that you're referring to is every community has its unique assets, and um, you can't replicate exactly what might work in one and expect it'll work in the other. So you go into a new region and you assess what the assets are. Mm -hmm. uh, who are the players? What are their interests? Mm -hmm. What's What are the contributions they can make? And you then finesse uh, a, a model that works, but adapt it to that environment. By the way, there are community leadership programs throughout Connecticut, including uh, some in Fairfield County that you might wish to tap, mm -hmm. um, as there are throughout the country. This is a a national movement uh, aimed at ensuring that people of all ages, backgrounds, have opportunities to develop their skills and service to the community. And they, like um, like uh, Leadership Greater Hartford, are highly focused on strengthening community, leadership, and connections in ways that uh, build a more prosperous region. Ted, uh, you mentioned that this is really a national movement. Is yeah. there a sort of national organization that's an umbrella or maybe more of a go-to resource for more of a go-to resource okay. so um, we're in our 40th year now but about um, five or six years into our formation we connected with about a dozen 15 other groups across the country who were also experimenting with this model and we created a national association just to help us coordinate our efforts just so that we can learn best practices from one another just so that we can inspire one another from time to time with some success stories and some um, uh, and some tips so that is now uh, an association that comprises uh, several hundred organizations but there are probably about 1500 uh, across the land and even uh, a couple dozen in Canada. Um, we've had the opportunity to do some consulting in Canada. Mm -hmm. We had the opportunity to go down to Brazil and try to get one started there. Mm -hmm. Anybody out there who has interest in starting one in Paris, France, or <laughs> Sydney, Australia? As a volunteer, uh, I'd be I guess, happy. Right? Yeah. As a volunteer, nothing. I'd be willing to go uh, <laughs> as a paid consultant, That's even. Right. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. So one of the other things that Leadership Greater Hartford, I always think about, um, you have, you also, just like the Yukon Nonprofit Leadership Program, are touching communities and groups in different points. Uh, so you yeah. have the third wave. Uh, we call it the third talk age initiative. Talk about that third age, exactly. So um, 
You know, at different stages in our lives, mm -hmm. we look for different things. Um, we need different things. And so, and, and we respond better to uh, different ways of structuring our experiences. So what has worked well for Leadership Greater Hartford and um, our uh, people in their professional careers may not work as well for older adults. And so we crafted a new in uh, initiative about 15 years ago called the Third Age Initiative. Um, that means about every year, 25 people, anywhere from 55 to 85 might sign on because they realize leadership, like learning, is a lifelong journey. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop at a particular point in time. And in fact, when you're in your third age, you, don't, you no longer have the same responsibilities as you might have felt to your children, uh, to your career. You're now in some ways free to explore those things that you might not have had an opportunity to explore uh, previously. So this is a chance for people to do that. And we capture them uh, and help them learn about themselves, uh, help them learn about each other, how do groups work, how does this community work, and where in the community might they be able to make a difference? Taking what they know, taking what they care about, working in partnership with others to actually affect some change in the community. And so it's been a very uplifting experience for probably now about 300 individuals in the greater Hartford area. That's wonderful. So tell, um, tell our viewers, how do people find out more about opportunities at Leadership Greater Hartford and also opportunities to take part in the Yukon Nonprofit Leadership Program? Well, uh, if I may, um, it being our 40th anniversary, we decided maybe it's time to refresh our, our website, for example. So go to uh, Leadership GH, Leadership GH, and you'll see all of our programs on display, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, mm -hmm. whether you are in your early and, and mid-career, whether you are in a later executive uh, level, or whether you're in your post uh, career, or maybe even in between, as a lot of the folks, uh, most of the folks who are in Encore Hartford are in between, and they're looking for what's next. Um, and so go to the website, that would be the best thing. Call me at 860-951-6161. <laughs> and is there an international number if they're calling from Paris? Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just email me at ted.carroll at leadershipgh.org. Wonderful. Uh, there are lots of different ways uh, you can learn about what we're doing. Great. And David, how about the Yukon Nonprofit Leadership Program? Certainly. Uh, actually, it's probably easy just, just to Google use Yukon and nonprofit and we pop right up. Mm -hmm. Our URL is uh, Yukon at DPP slash nonprofit. But uh, I would say just like as Ted was talking about opportunities, we are always looking for new things to be doing. Uh, we've had a very strong and wonderful relationship with the Hispanic Federation. Uh, we have a leadership institute that w and governance program that we've worked on and designed with the Federation, uh, which is a growing impactful, impactful group in Connecticut. And we've done other partnerships with uh, other nonprofits. I just mentioned, you know, a couple of uh, programs or two. Uh, so we're always open to any type of uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, and often, and I would think if you have an idea for mm -hmm. a, a nonprofit program or you need, have an educational need and you're not sure where to go, if you contacted either of us, we'll know whether we're the mm -hmm. fit or there's somebody else. I mean, that's sure. what I love because mm -hmm. we get... Uh, we will get inquiries from organizations saying, do you have this type of educational program? And I might be like, uh, no, we don't, or maybe we can shape something. But if we do shape something, we really should bring this organization mm -hmm. over here mm -hmm. in. It's a matter of, of, in this day and age, being strategic sure. uh, with our resources. But mm -hmm. it's, it's also just tapping into... Uh, the real strength of the Connecticut nonprofit sector, right. which is extremely strong, mm -hmm. and that strength is being able to work together. 
So uh, for those who are watching uh, tonight who are decision makers in the nonprofit sector, I think we should also let them know that there's programs such as Quest. Um, can mm -hmm. we talk a little bit about Quest? But also I wanted to give a plug uh, in one of my previous positions. I had some interns from the Yukon IPP uh, public policy program. And so if there are nonprofits who could really use a intern, particularly in the advocacy space or even the public administration space. So tell us more about Quest and, and the internship program. Sure. Well, I'll begin with the Quest program, mm -hmm. which is how we're best known. And it's actually how we were first uh, came into being. Um, back then, we just called it the Leadership Greater Hartford program. But imagine 50 people coming from different parts of the community, some from business, some from the nonprofit sector, some from government, um, usually mid-career with some experience in leadership, but uh, who have a great deal of potential to take on even greater leadership roles. And they, they experience a, a program that comprises about 11 months. It's workshops around leadership, it's workshops around collaboration, it's workshops around um, getting to know oneself better and getting to know our group dynamics and field experiences in the community such that we know uh, what's going on in our community and we actually come to really enjoy what's in the community. Um, we, we have this saying at Leadership Greater Hartford, you cannot lead a community you don't love and you don't, can't love a community you don't know. So we take a lot of time getting them to learn about the community here in Greater Hartford do it through these um, tours of the city, and more importantly, through projects that we help them organize that, that address particular issues of, of interest and of importance to this uh, area. So uh, October is an important month. Applications are due at the yeah. end of October. So I'm, I'm very happy that you've <laughs> sure. uh, asked me that question. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Great. Get those applications in. And for our uh, for our internship program, uh, nothing beats experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is p mandatory in our program that you do have uh, at least uh, two semesters working with a state agency, town, or nonprofit. And what we do is um, I'm I direct the initiative to make a specific. Uh, call out to uh, the different uh, agencies out there to bring our students in into, within their second year. And uh, it's been, as we've been now doing it, I think two or three years now with the YWCA, with many, uh, it's interesting, uh, when you think Masters of Public Administration, you don't normally think nonprofit, but when we look at our past uh, graduates, about 50 percent, a good 50 to 40 percent, their first jobs are, and their direction is in the nonprofit field. So it's a growing area. It's why the, the university is looking for us to beef that up mm -hmm. and to provide that uh, support on the academic side, but also on the internship side, getting them into the nonprofits. And what our uh, interns really do, they work on projects. They bring us, these are second year masters students who have done strong work in policy work and in analytics and they can come in and really help a nonprofit or a state or town uh, agency with a specific problem that needs to get addressed and often they end up hiring them so great. wonderful <laughs> that that's a good that's a good thing but it, it's great for both parties well, I hope we've given everyone a lot of information about Leadership Greater Hartford, UConn's nonprofit leadership program, and opportunities for individuals who want to get involved in those programs. Jerry, I'll turn it over to you. It's been wonderful having you. Thank, Thank you, you very much for sharing your Thank story, you. your life story, and uh, the things you're doing in the community. Once again, we've been talking with David Garvey and Ted Carroll, two people making a big difference in the community. Donna and I will be right back with more of Nonprofit World on Nutmeg TV.